Here I have two light browns, a middle brown, and four dark brown, a white, and a light gray colored clay for the project for today. I am going to take all these colors and just stack them on top of each other to make some uh, wood grained something something um, cane for the work today. So I'm just uh, kind of stacking these colors like I feel like it. There's no um, special way for doing this. You just put in what you like and then build it up until you're happy with it. Here I decided to make a snake out of these scraps I have here. So I'm just rolling that into a little snake. And then I can place that here and there in it as well. Don't do too many of these, as that will look a little weird. Now I'm squeezing it really good together and I'm trying to stretch it a bit so I get a little uh, longer piece here so I can cut it in two and stack it. After I stack the two halves together, I am squeezing and pulling it, stretching it so that it is getting a longer piece and thinner in the grains. If you look closely right here, you can see what way the grains are going, so you can do it the same way. I have this um, cutter, this is a oval shape that I'm going to use to make a little uh, basket. First I am cutting out some slices of this cane and I'm placing them together like you see me do here. I do run them through my pasta machine so they have the same thickness all the way down this uh, line of clay. I 
I cut out this long strip of this clay and I'm wrapping it carefully around the bottom piece of this cutter just placing it very neat along the edge and cutting it off into length so it is not overlaying the first layer just working on that right here there we go and I have this stencil um, that I made uh, this is a piece of mold putty over some crap paper and I'm just squeezing that until uh, the surface of this little uh, basket that we're making. Then I am cutting out two more strips as I want a little strip at the top of the basket and a little strip on the bottom of the basket. So first I'm placing one of them and then I carefully place the other one as well. And I remember to give them a little texture with my piece of mold putty. After that I am rolling out a piece of black clay in a thin setting and I have a piece of rest clay from the uh, little basket that we're making and I'm just connecting these two pieces like you see here and then I'm going to cut out the handle for my basket. I made sure that the handle had the right size before I tried to put it on my basket. Here I'm using some bacon bond to make sure that it will bond to the basket. After baking I let it cool down and then I am trying to loosen it up with this tool and then pulling it out of the pulling it off, not out, pulling it off the hole puncher that I had here and placing it to the side. Now we are going to make the bottom of the little basket here. So I'm just placing, uh, let's see, three of these together to make sure that they fit for the bottom. I cut them a bit thicker than the sides of the basket. And I'm not putting these through my uh, pasta machine. I'm just making sure that they're sticking very nicely together. Like so. Then I'm going to take my hole puncher and I'm punching out the bottom for the little basket. Pulling off the excess. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of pick and bond to make sure that it will stick to the basket itself before I place the basket. Oh! And of course I need a little uh, texture in there before I place it all together. So if you have different kind of cutters like these, uh, then you can use them to make other kinds of shapes on these baskets. I will show you a few pictures of some other shapes that I made in the end here. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.